Tavita Pangai Jr. has been linked with a move to the club. The retired Tavita Pangai Jr. It's worth saying. Remember last year he retired to go box and then didn't box. He's in what the Broncos system as a as a development player or something or, or something to the like. No, he's he's on a second tier Queensland Cup contract and they can pick him up. But, well, there you go. Yeah. He's pretty much come out and said, "I'm not going to waste anyone's time. If I'm not going to get a start at Brisbane, I'm going to look at opportunities." Good on him for being honest. What do the Titans get out of Tavita Pangai Jr.? Should they sign him? What will they get? And is TPJ being unloyal or disloyal to the Broncos? Uh First and foremost, if I'm the Gold Coast Titans and Tavita Pangai Jr. is knocking on my door, I'm not answering. They have already got an abundance of well underperforming players who are just there for a paycheck. He's not good anymore. He hasn't been good for a while. You, yeah, it's... I, I, I get it. You, you, he's a big-name player, and he was an Origin player, and he was good in that stint for Penrith when they were there, but it's Penrith, right? You, they don't need him. Now, Tavita Pangai Jr. should count his lucky stars that the NRL has allowed him to go back because he still had a couple of years left on his dog's contract. So you're wasting everybody else's time because you should still be down there at Canterbury. If you want to play footy... Go back down to Canterbury. Um, but yeah, the, he shouldn't go to the Titans. The Dolphins the Dolphins shouldn't answer the call either. I think if he wanted to get the best footy out of it, it would be the Broncos. He's just got to be patient because they're, they're, they're pretty stacked in the forwards. Yeah, they are. But, I mean, you got Marty Tapau who, you know, what if he gets injured? They've obviously proven that they need a, a player with some games under their belt and a bit of experience and... I won't say a calm head because neither player are known for that, but an experienced head. And Pango Jr.'s got that experience. He's played Origin, he's played in, or he should have played in the Grand Finals, he's played Finals football. I, I I don't see anything positive about signing him, to be totally honest, unless it's for a minimum deal. You need a player, you need, you've got 24 hours, and Pango Jr.'s like, ooh, 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 ooh pick me. And they're just chucking the contract and just put him in Queensland Cup, see what happens. 100% though, this is this is a, if they are to sign him, it's still peace fans. Oh, we signed former Origin prop, you know, we signed. Penrith Premiership winner, even though he didn't play in the grand final. It's one of those signings that looks good on paper, but he, no, Titans, no. Just just, just don't. If, if, if they offer him a contract, Panko Jr. should sign it before they have a second thought. Sign it and go play a bit of football down there. But I think his best way in is through Brisbane, and I think he owes it to everyone after doing what he did. I still maintain that if he was a player who was giving value for his contract, the Bulldogs would be kicking up an absolute storm saying, you, you know, went around a rule, a loophole that they're trying to close to play football. They were like, see you later, let's get him off the contract, off the books. So mm-hmm. I just think it's it's a bit of a laughable situation. I think he'll end up at the Titans because I think both, they're, they're stupid enough to sign him. I think Pango Jr.'s got to take it before someone else comes along. So I can't see anyone else coming along.